Alhamdulillah was a reminder for myself that the, these associations from the turuqs and tariqahs and the ways of spirituality, everything's based on an energy. And Allah knows the condition of His servants and whom He inspires His servants to sit with them either to build their energy and to reach where Allah wants them to reach or to be cured by their energy. Means the greatest gift that Allah can give, not all the other side items that everybody keeps asking for but alhamdulillah last night when we were talking we said that it's qudra. Ya Rabbi I'm not asking to see anything, I'm not asking for all these other items and desires that come into my heart. But send your Divine Qudra, send your Divine lights upon my soul that your rida and satisfaction to be dressed upon me Ya Rabbi Allah. If Allah accept and begin to send the fires from Atiullah to Ati Rasul means the permission from Prophet will begin and the fires from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad like a satellite dish will begin to emanate upon through the faces and the heart of Allah. Wherever that servant is that emanation will reach to them and this is the reality of faiz. It is like the secret of the photon of the sun, it's everywhere. It's lacking no loss in any connectivity. So now they're going to release onto this earth a 5G signal that they want to increase their frequency upon the earth. For those whom are of a spiritual nature understand every symbolism that's coming. The shaitan want to fill the earth with his signals but unfortunately the satanic signal when it begin to broadcast too strong it begin to flip everybody's wires. Every, ma every brain will have difficulty, every heart will be dysfunctioning, every type of energy and difficulty begin to hit upon the servant because they are not sheltered from that reality. Ding ding, proof. Because shaitan listening too, he's saying, you bet my signal will reach everyone. And what I can do with that frequency is even enter into your cellular structure and all your atoms with this energy and begin to manipulate the energy of insan. So in those days they want us to understand as we become closer towards the end of this dunya everything goes back to its origin. Means that every emanation and every form is based on an energy and the only way to improve your energy as we go a little bit lower is going to be based on the sound that you make and that you resonate. Any type of difficulty coming to us means that the energy coming to us and we have no ability to shield ourselves from that energy. People want to call shaitan and jinns and this and sirrah, every type of magic. Just go back to an energy. An energy is coming towards you, if you are not able to shield yourself that energy begins to hit you. Hit you in your head, hit you in your physicality, hit you in your entire being and begin the waswases and whisperings and everything. And they come into our lives and teach us then the only way to shield and build your energy is that you have to increase your frequency. That's why then the importance in all awliyaullah and all the students of pious people of awliyaullah, pious saints, they were taught that the single most important act that they do is zikrullah. Your salah is zikrullah, you, you have to mention Allah's name when you're praying, your azan is zikrullah. 
But by mentioning Allah's name, by praising upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad you are changing the entire frequency of your being. If you have difficulty, increase your zikr. If you're not doing any zikr, you're practically dead. You're under full attack. You don't survive what's coming. That movie Birdcage was a warning for humanity. You turn the frequency up, you're going to go crazy. And they're going to see people running on the streets with no mind and the du'a in Dalai Kharat is, Ya Rabbi protect me from oppressive people, protect me from people who have no maqs, they have no brain, they are not functioning. Means immense difficulty begin to emanate upon this earth with these energies. And what we are in need of is to build our energy. And the only way to build the energy for ourselves and our own prescription at home is zikrullah. The, do the awrat, the daily recitations, do the zikr of Allah do the salawats on Sayyidina Muhammad These zikrs they are bringing a tremendous energy. A tremendous angelic reality. If they try to explain it, then people get lost and say, Oh, it sounds too outrageous. Because it is. Can you imagine the scale? And we keep saying it, but I don't think people contemplate. When you say, Allah, what does that have as a power? Can it even be imagined? Could you weigh the name of Allah and can anybody tell me what its value would be? It's impossible to understand. So means in zikr when you say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa la ali Sayyidina Muhammad you have praised Allah, you have praised Prophet and you have praised the Ahlul Bayt of Prophet and all his companions are Haqq Ahlul Bayt. You have covered everyone. You've covered everyone whom Allah is happy with in that salawat Praised upon Allah what type of value does that come onto the soul? What type of energies the angels are bringing? What type of nazar and gaze from these holy souls that you just praised upon them and sent a blessing upon them, what type of nazar now they put upon us? Because now you got their attention. With their attention their nazar comes with a qudra and a power. So means anyone deficient in their energy and having difficulties, a sign is increase your zikr, increase your durood, increase your salawats. That put within your home the playing of Dalal al-Khirat and the salawats on Sayyidina Muhammad We have a SoundCloud account, we have a free playlist played in your home on a laptop all day long. You're home, you're not home. Make your home a maqam, make your home not a maqam for shaitan where you do every bad thing, watch every bad show, watch every bad music, playing sounds. Every time you turn your stereo on there are demons coming with that song. That's why they made it and the song was at a low frequency. And when you Google Illuminati and the record industry. The record producers tell that we used to burn records, take them for a satanic worshipping, put a prayer upon that record and then release it. Isn't that the opposite of the zikr? The shaykhs are teaching you about zikr, not about the bad sounds, the bad, the sounds of, of, of bad words and bad actions, bad thoughts, bad characteristics. As soon as you play it, it brings a, it brings a being into the environment. If you're not strong enough to hit the being and send him out, he's there staying, he's just coming in more, more. Then you turn TV, it's coming now 5G, they can't get faster into your house than what's coming now. That's why they're inspiring to increase the speed. We don't want to come slowly into their homes and into their brain and into their being, we want to come full speed ahead. So every time they turn these devices, all oh, these things are coming in. 
they come into the room, they come into the house, they come into the headphone, they come into the ears and into the heart of insan. So what Allah gave to us, make your wudu, make your salah, make your zikr. All of these practices bring a tremendous energy that begin to push out. Whatever unwanted creatures came, what Prophet prescribed, call azan loud in your home. They can't stand the azan, you'll begin to hear popping noises because shaitan pops as he's leaving the environment. You'll hear it. If you call the azan and make everybody quiet, call the azan loud in your home. That was a defense for anything that's lying in the house. Play the dalal khirat, play the zikrs, play holy Qur'an in the house, play Surat al-Baqarah in the house. All of this is an energy teaching and you'd be surprised how little people actually practice it. And they have difficulties, they have pains, they have sicknesses, everything. That means that first you increase the salawats, then you fortify your home with the calligraphy, the praisings, Ayatul Qur'an and Kareem, then play within the home all of these salawats in durood al-sharif so that the house becomes an angelic maqam, that holy beings they come for the sound and the praisings to come and pray there. And you put a nice area for your salah, the carpet is out, everything is beautiful, there's a candle, everything and the angels and awliya will come to pray in that location so that the house becomes sanctified. Then when they sit on these associations and when the broadcast is beginning they're asking for madad and support, they're asking that, Ya Rabbi dress me from the light and the energy and these awliyaullah as soon as they broadcast their soul is moving everywhere. With the ayatul kareem that say, when the truth comes and the false perishes, qul ja'al haqq means this light of haqq begin to emanate everywhere like a laser and like swords and moving on everyone. And every truth as it moves it by its nature eliminates every falsehood because the falsehood doesn't stay in the presence of that light and begin to emanate and to hit, to hit. Means if you can't come invite the zikr into your home, play the zikr loud inside the house, there are beings coming through the zikrs to enter into the homes and to begin to clean and they clean the association. If you're sick and not well and the zikr's conducting, hold your hand where your sickness is and say, Ya Rabbi send the energy and the qudra and the light into that region, into that area and grant me shifa and healing from the barakah of this zikr, this khatam and this durood al-sharif and salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad Zikruhu shafas wa ismuhu dawas That your remembrance is my healing and your names are my medicine. I'm not in need of anything else Ya Rabbi. If the whole world comes to destroy me, if Allah loves you they can do nothing to you. And most shaykhs have been thrown out of everything, they've been thrown out of homes, they've been thrown out of, of cars, they've been thrown out of planes. Every type of difficulty came into their life. Many have tried to destroy them but they're still standing. Because those who try to destroy them they don't have the power of Allah So they're an example, many have come to destroy but they're still there. Allah loves you, if you're good with Allah let them come. But if you're not good with Allah you don't need anything. Every ant will come into your home, every difficulty come into your home. Allah will send all His creatures to come into your home. He doesn't even need big things to come. Every difficulty Allah will say that you're now their sustenance. Make all the creatures come to go after that servant. Doesn't even need big servants to come. And everything with us is about energy. Every protection for us, inshaAllah, in these days is energy. Increase the zikr, increase the salawats, that focus that energy onto areas that are sick. Broadcast the zikrs into the home if you're not able to attend so that it's a shifa and a healing. Make the house to be like a masjid in which there's taweezes, there's ayatul Qur'an, there's everything all around. So the environment is not easy for a shaitan to occupy that space. They come into the TV, they see everything, they say, let's get out of here, we'll go next door. 
the one across the window to the house next door. If you don't believe that, there was somebody, there was two homes. One person, he had a lot of bushes and all sorts of garbage around his house, he decided to clean his house. As soon as he began to clean his house and cut everything down, it had been infested with rats. When he cleaned his house, the rats went next door. That's it, it's a very simple example. If you clean your house, these devils, they're not interested in difficulty, they just go somewhere else. So that's why Allah Zawajjal inspired to do all of these practices for protection, bring all these energies into our lives, focus that energy, focus that reality and know that their lights are emanating and pulsating out and these lights come into the soul, begin to build the qudra, build the energy of the soul, build the ability of the soul so that one day that soul can also begin to push out all sorts of difficulties. We pray that Allah inspire us more and more towards the understandings of qudra and energy and that Allah grant us from those lights and those blessings inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa basira Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel. Your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.